Hey guys, so today I thought that I would bring you my best of 2018. I'm going to be doing this in two parts. So if you guys are curious to see what I think has been the best in the last year, drugstore and high end in each category, then just keep watching. Okay, so I kind of have things paired up best of high end and best of drugstore for each category. So let's start off with kind of face products. Um, the first is a makeup removing balm. The best high-end one that I have used all year has been the It Cosmetics Bye Bye Makeup Cleansing Balm. I've tried other ones by Sephora, I've tried ones by Clinique, I've tried a few other brands and none of them have come close to this one. So unfortunately I don't have a drugstore option for this category, but this one definitely wins as far as makeup removing balms. Next would be a moisturizer and this is a category where I only have a drugstore and I don't have a high-end. It would be the Neutrogena Rapid Wrinkle Repair Moisturizer with Sunscreen. I've gone through several bottles of this this year alone. I really love it and there hasn't been anything high end that comes close to how much I love this particular moisturizer. So for this category, I don't have one for the high end. So price tag doesn't mean everything guys. Okay. For a facial oil, the high-end winner for me is the Kevin Aquan, the Neo Elixir Weightless Beauty Oil. My package has come apart, but I love the oil itself. It's beautiful on the skin. It can be worn on top of makeup to kind of add shine beneath. And my drugstore one, which I don't have right now, I need to pick up some more, is the Physician's Formula Oil. It's amazing under the eyes, really smooths things out, added hydration. So those would be the winners for the facial oils for 2018. Moving on to some lip products. My favorite high-end lip product for the year has to be the Tatcha Camellia Goldspun Lip Balm. This stuff is amazing at adding hydration and really healing the lips. And for the drugstore, I really like the Chapstick Total Hydration, especially the Eucalyptus Mint Fragrance. I think this works really well, especially as like an overnight treatment to kind of heal the lips and get them ready for the next day. So these are the winners for the lip products for this year. For makeup sponges, the winner for me is clearly the Maybelline Face Studio Sponge. I love this one. It's round on the bottom for foundation. It's pointed at the top for concealer. You have a flat side if you need to bake. I mean, it does everything for me and I love this one. This is probably my favorite. And then high end has to be the Japanese Beauty Sponge. I love the texture of this one. I love the size of it. It's just really good and I like this better than the Beauty Blender. For primers, Strangely enough, they're both glowy, which I'm not really a glowy skin person, but for the drugstore primer, it has to be the L'Oreal True Match Lumi Glotion. I love this. I feel like it helps me to um, stay oil-free. It helps give my skin the added hydration it needs so it doesn't have to produce the extra oils. And for the high end, it is the Dr. Brandt Pores No More Luminizer Primer. They're both glowy primers, and I really love both of them. For color correctors, one that I discovered this year is the Peri Para Ink Corrector, and this one is the peach color. I love this. It's not too orange that it's overpowering for my skin tone, but it works really well to cancel out the blue. And then for the high end, it is the It Cosmetics Bye Bye Under Eye Corrector, and mine is in the shade Light, and it kind of looks like this. So those are the best color correctors for 2018 if you're trying to color if you're trying to correct blue or under eye circles. For a BB cream, I only have one, and that would be the It Cosmetics CC cream, the original. I don't have a drugstore BB cream that I've loved. I haven't found anything that even comes close to this one with coverage and the way my skin feels. So this is just the all-out winner and it's not too crazy expensive. So love this stuff. Foundation should be no surprise. My drugstore winner is the Maybelline Super Stay Full Coverage Foundation. It's amazing. It comes in so many different shades. I do have a whole swatch video of most of the line if you guys want to check that out from fair all the way to deep. Um, this lasts amazingly well on my skin. I've used about a quarter of the bottle already. It's definitely my go-to drugstore foundation. And for high end, it is the Estee Lauder Double Wear Nude Cushion Stick Radiant Makeup. I've tried the regular Double Wear foundation. I just don't love it as much as this particular formula or format. So this is the winner for the high end and this is for the drugstore. For concealer, obviously the high end is still the Tarte Shape Tape. I haven't found anything that comes close. I've tried the Makeup Revolution. I've tried several others. Just none of them do what this one does for me. Drugstore, surprisingly, is the Ulta Full Coverage Liquid Concealer. I think it works really well. It's a fraction of the price. You can buy them at the same place. Um, you get a little bit less in the tube, but I think it works so, so well at brightening the under eye. So definitely my winners for this year for concealer. For powders, I'm talking like just all over general setting powders, not brightening powders, not glowy powders. 
Setting powder for the drugstore is the CoverGirl Outlast All Day Powder. I think this really helps my makeup last longer. I use the medium as a bronzer and the, I think the Fair to Light as like my all over setting powder and it works really well. And for the high end, it is the Marc Jacobs Perfection Powder, which I don't even know if they make this anymore, but I am running low and mine's already falling apart. So I need another one or I have to find another alternative. So if you guys know of a powder that's similar to this where it is white but doesn't give you a white cast, doesn't make you look white and powdery, let me know. My favorite glowy powder. So if I want like an all over glow for the drugstore, I go with the Wet n Wild Color Icon Bronzer in Reserve Your Cabana. It is not a bronzer. It is just a glowy powder that I dust all over the face for some added glow. And if I want a similar effect to this but I want to spend a little more money, I go with the Laura Mercier Candle Glow Powder and I use the shade number two. These are very similar and I just love the glowy effect that I get using this all over the face. Right. Setting spray would have to be MAC Fix Plus. Um, I've gone through so many bottles of this but still nothing comes close to this one as far as high end. Drugstore would have to be the Pixi setting spray, which I am all out of. So I love the Pixie one for drugstore and the Mac Fix Plus for the high end. And if I want to glow, I go for the Tatcha Luminous Dewy Skin Mist for the high end, and then the Pixie Glow Mist for the drugstore. I don't particularly love the rose scented one, but I don't have the regular green glow bottle to show you, but these are the winners for the glowy setting sprays. So that is it for part one. Stay tuned for part two of my best of 2018. Bye guys.